Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we will learn about how to introduce at an edit text box on the GUI of PyCharm. How we can do it? We have a specialized library or module within the Python or PyCharm that is called as the tkinter. With the help of this module, we can make any sort of graphical user interface. So first of all, we have to import the library that is called as the tkinter library. So we need to write from tkinter import static. So what it means from tkinter import static means that all the functions or all the objects within the tkinter library are now exposed to our, our this programming tape. Now we can use all sort of functions or variables that lies inside the tkinter. Okay. So now after it we need to write one variable that is called as root. Why we need to write it? Because we have to assign, we have to create a variable to which our main tkinter module is needed to be assigned okay like tk or tkinter is assigned to the root variable okay now whenever we like to access tk we we can write root now we need to make what is called as the edit text box so for it we need to declare a variable and you must know that variables are nothing just what what is called as the containers for data okay so whenever we write these variables and usually after these variables there is, is equal to sign or assignment operator sign so what this assignment operator will do it will take all the values from the right hand side and will throw them into the txt underscore box variable okay now if we want to write or if you want to create one edit text box on the GUI of tkinter then we need to write text that is txt and this is a specialized function without this text function we are not supposed to make any uh, like a uh, edit text box okay now now this is now after this is and after it we need to write root comma root okay now why after this text function we need to insert these brackets because functions used to take some sort of parameters like uh, you you are supposed to tell them that these things are uh, these things must be like that we need to give them certain values or attributes in these brackets so our function will know that these things must be treated like this like a height attribute like height is equal to 1 means that edit text box must have a height of 1 and width of and width is equal to 6 why it is so okay now what it means text box must be on the root or tkinter GUI its size must be 1 its width must be 6 so this thing okay now txt underscore box this is what this is uh, called as our variable yes obviously this is our variable which one this one but now this is associated with certain function that is text because all the things on the right hand side must be given to this variable which is lies on the left hand side so we need to write dot pick pick function will properly uh, grid the our text box on the GUI so this is a uh, usually after every element needed to be placed on the GUI then you need to uh, introduce this peg function okay we can also uh, write some attributes in peg but this time we are not going to do it okay now okay now this is done now what we need to do is we now we will um, this is this this these two lines are just for the edit text box now we will make a button that is when when we will uh, click the push button then our 
value needs to be printed on the console console is this window that is the uh, you can see my cursor this one this window is called as the console window so whenever we will press the push button what what will happen uh, our that is the input which is given on the text box printed on the what is called as the on the console okay okay now can we run it out yes we can run it out okay now in the last we need to write main loop okay main loop okay and hopefully after it we can make one gui now you can see that our gui is there okay our gui is there okay you can see this thing our text box is created but there isn't any sort of button here now we will make one button so again the same process that is we will write one uh, variable that is called as atri underscore button and then there is a function that is called as the button that is called as the button and this button function will make button for us push button for us and where this button needs to be located on the root root means that main gui and height is equal to 1 and width is equal to 10 height is equal to 1 and width is equal to 10 okay now this is height is equal to 1 width is equal to 10 so it's a button height must be 1 width must be 10 and what needs to be written on the what's called as the button that is called as text okay text property so text must be um, click me like uh, anything like click okay click me or click me okay we, we can write this thing click me okay after this we need to write command is equal to lambda take input yes this is uh, a built-in command with the help of which we can call a function command is equal to lambda l -A m b d a lambda and colon command is equal to lambda colon and take underscore input input okay now so whenever we will press the push button this command and this this function all this will search for this function on the whole program like the cursor will move here automatically here here and we'll see that where it is written take underscore input so we we have to obviously we have to create a function so whenever our button will press that is button on the gui will press it will go for uh, this take underscore input function to be executed okay so we will write def take underscore input okay input input and obviously there must be two insertion brackets and now we can see that okay wait uh, what it used to say text uh, this and this okay we also need to write at the button dot pick okay at the button dot pick button dot pick because it needs to okay Th this also because it it will like uh, move or it will adjust properly the button on the gui okay again 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 they said there is indentation or if text is equal to text box is equal to root height width is equal to six okay so what they used to say the error expected an intended block okay yes yes Th there must be some some like a whenever a button is pressed control will go to take underscore input and here we we need to write something okay it's better okay so we will write input value and input value is again a variable to store something okay box is equal to text underscore box now you you got from where we get this from this one okay because this text box variable is getting some text from uh, what is called as the text box okay so text underscore box dot get get means that now it is getting okay text boxes 
getting some thing from the what is called as the from okay from 1.0 from the first word 1.0 mean first word and and dash 1c means that on the last and it is not going on the second line okay it will start from first word but it's not going to the uh, next line okay so this is our input underscore value so so whenever this function will be called by pressing button then this function will be executed that it will take the value from the edge text box and store it inside this variable okay now you can see that our button is there our everything is there that is text box and all these and we are going to like press like a we have written a we will click click me but you can see that there isn't any sort of thing on the console because we have not printed it yet okay so we need to print them out print of input value input value v a l u e okay so 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 this is okay now we will see okay and where it it it, it, it is it is going to come that where where it is where it will be printed here okay here on the console so we will write six okay and i will write click click and it is six okay if i use for j it click and you can see it is on console it is j so in this way we can uh, use this edit text box within the pie charm so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe